Mikhail. Good afternoon. Uh, as Mr. Mikhail said, my name is Roland Moon, I'm the Executive Director of Four Corners Family Resource Center in the Laurentians. Please allow me to introduce to you the best agent in all of the health and social service agencies in the Laurentians, Mr. Jean-Philippe Vicino. <laughs> du Québec et de l'Arctique. Alors, euh, je commence en vous parlant brièvement de l'Arctique. Donc, c'est une, une région qui couvre une superficie de près de 22 000 km2. Et comme vous le savez sans aucun doute, c'est une destination touristique quatre saisons, très très reconnue. Donc, beaucoup de variations aussi selon les saisons. Les touristes qui viennent des États-Unis, d'Ontario, beaucoup de résidents secondaires des chalets, aussi, donc je vous montre qu'ils viennent plus tard euh, dans les Laurentides. La région est divisée en huit municipalités régionales de comté, le DMRC, et qui regroupe un total de 80 municipalités. Les services de santé sont offerts euh, via sept centres de services de santé et de services sociaux, un centre de jeunesse, trois centres de réadaptation, deux CHSLD privés conventionnés et un CHSLD public, la résidence de la Chine, qui est aussi le seul établissement qui est reconnu et désigné en vertu du article 21 de la Charte de la langue française. Euh, les autres choses sont sur la thématique d'argent. La population totale des Laurentides. Euh, euh, voilà. Donc, la population totale des Laurentides dépasse le demi-million de personnes, dont la moitié est concentrée dans la partie sud de la région, soit dans deux MRC, euh, qui sont Thérèse de David et de Montagne. La population d'expression francophone constitue un peu plus de 5 de la population totale, environ 29 000 personnes. Et tout comme la population générale, elle est concentrée surtout dans le sud, dans les deux mêmes MRC. Le reste, la population d'expression anglaise, est répartie dans les autres MRC avec un tout petit nombre dans le nord, dans la MRC d'Antoine Madel, mont -Denis. La grandeur de la région, là, c'est un peu, un peu gênant de parler de grandeur après les présentations ce matin, mais quand même, la grandeur de la région et la distribution de la population d'expression anglaise constituent des défis importants pour l'accessibilité des services de santé et services sociaux dans les Laurentides. Euh, beaucoup d'efforts ont été faits par les établissements, particulièrement avec le programme d'accès qui est présentement en cours, mais euh, où à peu près tous nos établissements ont des services indiqués. Et euh, il y a encore beaucoup de travail à faire, mais euh, les gens sont très, très réceptifs. Et je pense qu'on a eu une très, très belle collaboration des établissements pour le programme d'accès euh, qui est présentement. Euh, je vais ma toute petite partie en soulignant l'importance qu'accorde l'Agence de la santé et des services sociaux des Laurentides aux actions de réseautage que vous verrez dans quelques instants par euh, mes collègues. Depuis plusieurs années, l'Agence rend aussi accessible aux organismes communautaires de la région euh, des fonds pour la promotion de l'accessibilité des services, euh, la promotion de l'accessibilité aux services de santé. Donc, ces fonds ne sont pas uniquement pour les organismes en Europe, mais pour euh, toutes les, euh, tout, euh, tous les organismes communautaires. Et également, avec le projet d'adaptation, euh, les établissements ont pu euh, faire beaucoup, beaucoup de traductions euh, depuis trois ans euh, pour des documents, évidemment, pour la population. Nos communautés anglophones, parce qu'on peut parler de plusieurs communautés anglophones en Europe. Alors, voilà, et mes collègues vont vous présenter le reste. Merci beaucoup, Jean-Philippe. Merci, Jean-Philippe, pour parler français. Je suis ici, mais l'anglais est <laughs> um, the Laurentian Network, also known as the LISAN, which uh, Ms. Kim Lymer will present to you shortly, is here today to present some of our home food. The accomplishments that show partnership, collaboration, and meeting the needs of the English speaking communities of the Laurentians. The model that we'll present today is particular to the Laurentians. Some accomplishments will sound familiar as we borrow the ideas that have worked well in other regions and adapt them to our own. Others are unique to a specific area of Laurentians, while others are implemented throughout the region. For example, the Fun Friends Anxiety Prevention Program is uh, a, a wonderful example of collaboration with public partners, school board, and community organizations to meet the needs of the population. It is implemented in all five territories, but no one will present it here today. Four of the five committees that work in the Laurentians are represented here today to speak of a successful project in their area. 
The list of presenters is available on this sheet that's available in the back of the room. It gives you an idea of who's here today and the coordinates, as well as a beautiful map of our region. <coughs> Representing the English Communities Committee are Mr. Anne Paquette from the Sud Croisesse de Saint-Rain and Ms. Kim Lamar from Four Corners. Representing Fusan Argenté, Ms. Martine Ayat from the Sud Croisesse d'Argenté, and our indispensable partner from the Community Learning Center in La Chute, CLC coordinator, Mr. Jimmy Corman. From the De Montagne Lisan is Madame Jacqueline Le Poitrain from the Cite Croises, to la Ville de Montagne, and myself. I will also present briefly on behalf of the Health Center Partnership Committee, though it could ha have been Mr. Lisan who also sits on that committee. Last, but certainly not least, is Ms. Kelly Donaldson, who will present on behalf of the Lisan Ville d'Anco. Unfortunately, Madame Lucy Lalande, who was supposed to present with Ms. Donaldson, had a pressing matter that she needed to attend to today. So without further ado, here to present, uh, to tell you more about the Lisan is Ms. Kim Lang. Good afternoon. What is Lisan? Lisan is an acronym for Laurentian English Service Advisory Network. It is the umbrella name for all the English communities that are located throughout the Laurentian. Lisan is sponsored by Four Corners, and its primary purpose is to enable the Anglophone community to establish common goals and therefore be in a position to speak with one voice to promote better services in the English language. We have five different Lisan committees throughout the Laurentians that Lola mentioned. They are the ECC, which is the English Communities Committee of the Citoises de Sommet, Lisan Archanté, Lisan de Montagne, Lisan Pidao, which is also known as La Table Arcanfone, and the Health Center Partnership Committee in Gadsden Dagen. We will begin the welcome presentation today with the English Community Committee, which was founded in October of 2005. The ECC acts as a two-way communication bridge between the Cité Oises de Sommet and the widely spread out English population of the Amazonie With 20 vast municipalities, the committee is made up of the volunteers represented from different communities within many of the municipalities. Some communities are geographical, some social, and others are of more formal nature. We try to keep a balance that includes the major population centers as well as the different age groups, such as families with children, recently retired people, and those in their senior years. There are also representatives from a variety of local organizations as well as our citoyens. According to the 2006 census, the total population of the MRC is 39,235, which is 8% or 3,145 Anglophones. However, these numbers are not very reflective in that we have a large seasonal population in the MRC in the books of the Anglophones and it experiences huge variations during the weekends and the summer months. Thank you. Thank you, Kim. Hello, everyone. After discussion with our committee, we agree that this statement is our highest achievement, built on the good relationship that has developed through seven years of working together in a spirit of cooperation and respect. Over the years, we have worked to establish the priorities for the provision of services in English through the hospital in saint agathe the CLSCs in saint agathe mont anne and La Belle, and the long-term care facilities in those three locations, all of which make up the CSSS design. These priorities have been developed around our meeting table through the input of the members who rely on their interchanges with their individual communities as well as their own insights, which have grown through their involvement in the com committee. Among its achievements, the committee has helped identify service improvements subsequently undertaken by the administration of the CSSS in response to their recommendations. Their input to the CSSS has always been met with the greatest of respect and willingness to cooperate and accommodate subject to the availability of resources, both human and budgetary. We are really proud of our own group. For example, language training of the reception personnel began in 2005. Another major move was the introduction of the 
a completely bilingual automatic telephone system. An English page is available on the CSSS Lisonia website, including an English community calendar. We've maintained outreach through presence at other organizations and meetings and through a regular column in the local English monthly newspaper. Many documents have also been translated, including a checklist provided by the triage nurse in the emergency department. That explains the priority levels. We've ensured that the new museum in the hospital lobby presented a valuable display. Finally, we established a partnership with Four Corners, through which a permanent agent has office space at our foundation and can act as the go-to person and general secretary of the English Communities Committee meetings. All this has grown out of the good relations between the committee and the CSSS system. Thank you. Yeah, okay.